morning guys this is Dark Comet and welcome to my channel hope you're having a great day so far the purpose of today's video is to give you the general and the role daily challenges for Red Dead Online on this Monday September 28th to give you Madame Nazar's location to give you my top three general dailies as my recommendations for you if you only have a little bit of time and you want to continue your streaks and to give you a complete walkthrough of all the general and roll deadlies so that uh, you can see how I get them done, uh, where I like to go, and how I like to do things. So let's go check today's list and let's get busy guys. The general dailies include kill and skin two foxes, change any horse appearance, complete hunt the leader, knock out any five non-player enemies, Pick five Paracel Mushrooms. Kill three players with a shotgun in showdowns. And use an emote on any local. The Bounty Hunter ones today include bring any two targets from the Moin posters, tag any two targets with your tracking arrows, and track any three targets with your Eagle Eye. For the trader, we're going to have complete any Crips special camps too. Complete two deliveries to local buyers and donate seven medium animal carcasses to Crips. The collector role includes collect three antique alcohol bottles, collect two collectibles with your metal detector, and collect three lost jewelry. The moonshiner ones include make $200 or more from your moonshine delivery, change any decor at your moonshine bar, and have two player interactions uh, at your moonshine bar. The naturalist ones include collect five animal samples within 10 minutes, drink or craft two blending tonics today, and collect three forest river animal samples. My top three uh, dailies today are going to include updating your horse appearance. should be pretty easy today. Just go to Valentine or St. Denis or any other stables and update your horse appearance. could be as simple as just coloring or changing the style of your mane or your tail. So that one's going to be pretty easy. Why don't you do that one? Uh, the next one's going to be pick five parasol mushrooms. They're located pretty close to some fast travel points in other locations. They're spread throughout the game, so it shouldn't be too hard on picking those small mushrooms. And then we're going to use an emote on any NPC player. You can use that one on anybody walking around or even on Crips. So good luck today while you complete your top three and keep those daily streaks going, guys. Madame Nazar today is located over in Grizzlies East. She's just north of Moonstone Pond in the Three Sisters area. She's also just west of Oak Creek's Run. The quickest way to get to her today is going to be traveling north from Emerald Ranch at the fast travel there, or just going down south from the Wapiti Indian Reservation. So go see Madame Nazar today, sell her any collectibles you got, buy any maps, uh, make sure you make those sets today guys and happy collecting for the first daily challenge today we have kill and skin two foxes let me show you where they are today and I found one right here I'm just gonna kill it and skin it for you so I'm over here in the heartland overlook there's always uh, in the evening time hours um, there's foxes to Skin over here in the wetlands, right at drinking water at the edge. And I'll show you on the map here in a second where this one's located and you can where you can find some other foxes today. They're pretty static on where they like to show up for the locations here. So that one's completed here. I already got one earlier uh, today when I was loading in. Um, let me show you on the map uh, where I am now at the Heartland Overflow. They're always popping up over here drinking water in the evening dark hours uh, in the Heartland Overflow. They also can be roaming around anywhere around the Emerald Ranch in the Heartland area around this area right here. Another place that I like to find them is over here in the Ringneck Creek area and down here by Southfield Flats in the Maddock Pond. They like to hang out around the uh, ponds there down just north of Rhodes. 
Um, so the other location is over here along the coastline between the fishing shack over here and this fishing dock. They like to run up through the little forest here. So those are three good locations to find foxes today. Good luck on your fox hunting and just kill and scan any two and then your day is going to be completed guys. The next general challenge today is updating any of your horse appearances. Just go to any stables in the game. I'll show you where some of those are located today. Let's go to your map and hit index. Go down to your stables. There's seven of them. There's one in Valentine. There is one over here in uh, Dewberry Creek area. There's one in Strawberry. There's one in Blackwater. There's one over here just north of Van Horn. There is one in St. Denis. And then there's one over here by Tumbleweed. So go to any of those stables. Ride your horse on in there. Talk to the merchant here and go to any of your horses. Uh, you can uh, manage your horses here. Um, I got my good old Cinnamon, Banshee, Diablo, Comet, Bilbo, my big char horse, um, Odin, Domino, Artemis, and I still have one slot open in case they had anything in the future. So let's change Cinnamon here. Uh, we go over here and go to upgrade, go to appearance, go to the tail here. That's just you can change any color you want to or change the style. Um, I'm going to take my dreadlock here thing here and just make it a little bit darker red, for instance. You can change that. And then once you change your Appearance. You can see the 0 0.5 gold there. Uh, the horse skin's uh, appearance has been changed and your daily is completed, guys. So you can do that to any of your horses. Um, I usually choose the cheaper option of just changing the color, uh, but you could also just change the style of the horse uh, mane or tail, and then that'll take care of itself, guys. So good luck on there. So there is your second daily completed. For the next daily we have Hunt the Leader. Just make sure you have a posse um, or join a posse that's going to do it or it could pop up on randomly on the screen here if another posse initiates a Hunt the Leader contest. So go over here to posse. First if you're creating one of your own, um, go to uh, reform your posse, then go to posse versus, then go to Hunt the Leader. Oh, if you have a posse member uh, and you can do Hunt the Leader, um, it'll put you into a location like uh, the oil fields buildings, for instance, or some other location that's nearby where you are. Um, once you do that, um, other players will try to attack you. Uh, just complete the Hunt the Leader contest and your daily be completed. So take a look for those and good luck, guys.
So the next general challenge is to knock out five non-player enemies. I'm just going to use the saloon here in Valentine since I'm already here. I like to use the, the saloons because they don't start shooting. All they just start to do is let go fist brawl here. So I'm going to go over here and this guy, you know, he's looking at me kind of strange here. Knock out any five enemies and your day will be completed. is walking away from here. Come on. Horse God, Jesus. There you go. And that's five non-player enemies knocked out here. I'm going to just do one extra bonus here. There we go. So the next daily is to pick five parasol mushrooms. I got the samurai here. Over here at Flat Neck Station, just right here in the pen here. And then there's about three or four here in the pig pen, right by Flat Neck. That's my favorite place to go get them. However, they are at a number of locations. Uh, there are some here just north of Valentine, for instance. There should be two or three plants right here. And then there's a couple across this way. And then there are a few as you go along in the wooded areas. Um, and then over here by uh, Silda Rock in this area, there should be some parasol mushrooms for you too. So just pick five and your daily will be completed. Let's pick these here. And I'm gonna go pick one, even though I can pick one that one right there. I'm gonna go over here to the pig pen and show you where they are. I, I like this location because they're all in one little place. You just gotta go one spot and then all the mushrooms are here. So you can see them here in the pig pen here. There's a whole bunch. I think there's four right here alone. So I'll just pick five of those white button mushrooms and your daily's gonna be completed, guys. For the next daily challenge, we have killed three players with a shotgun in any showdowns. So just make sure you have your shotguns equipped. I like to use my repeating shotgun, but there's pump action and double barrel shotgun, for instance. There's also your good old sawed off shotguns. Uh, go over here to quick join. Go to any take over or shootout series and kill three players with your shotgun. And then that data is going to be completed. And even if you get your special edition one, which happens about more than half, 
of the time. Um, most of those have shotguns and throwing knives, so you should be able to get that one done pretty easily today, guys. So just kill three players with any shotgun, and good luck. For the last daily we have, using the mode on any local, I'm going to go over here to the, here, this guy here. Make sure you go over here and hit the L2 button, hit the R1 button, and I'm going to give him a good old cougar snarl. And then your daily is going to be completed, guys. So you for the three bounty hunter dailies today, we have bring in any two bounties from the Moine posters. That could be anything from Rhodes or Saint Denis. You can tag two targets with a tracking arrow. So just make sure you have your bow equipped and put in your tracking arrows. Uh, if you don't have the pamphlet, just go over to any fence and purchase that, and then make your tracking arrows. You can use your tracking arrows on the same target or on multiple targets, it's up to you. Um, the Just to make sure you, you don't uh, shoot them in the head and kill them when you're shooting them with the arrows. Uh, once you do with two tracking arrows, that day they'll be completed. And then uh, track with uh, eagle eye any of your targets, so you can do any two or three um, star bounty, and sometimes you get the question mark and, and you can find clues, and inspect the clues, and then track, track the bounties from that point or you can shoot a target with a tracking arrow and then put them on the back of your horse slap your horse and then track that that uh, line or you can just go into the Alhut family for instance in your legendary bounties and then track any targets there with uh, your tracking arrow so it's up to you how you do it today but that's how you can do all three bounties today you can probably do it even on the same poster if you want to um, it's up to you alright guys Four to three trader dailies today. We have complete any crypt special camps too. So let's go over here to the stew pot here. Uh, make sure you hit the recipe portion with the triangle and choose any of the top special stews here that's available. For instance, today mine is minty lamb and pea stew. Um, just make sure you have the ingredients. If you don't, uh, go out and collect those. Sometimes you have to go to the general store or order some things like the peas, for instance, uh, from your catalog. Once you get the materials, make your camp stew. Just push X, mix camp stew. And then your daily will be completed. And then make sure you eat your stew afterwards to get that nice golden core. That day will be completed. And then go on over to Crips here. And once you talk to him, uh, you can ask him to do a local delivery. Uh, you have to do two of those today. Um, so complete any two deliveries to local buyers. Uh, it can be anything from 1 to 100 goods. And then that day will be completed. And then also donate seven medium animal carcasses. That's anything such as rabbits and raccoons and possums, uh, armadillos, um, iguanas, herons, ducks, geese, things, anything they can put pretty much put on the side of your horse. Uh, once you get uh, seven of those uh, into crypts, that day will be completed and complete all the trader dailies. For the three collector dailies today, we have collect three antique alcohol and collect three lost jewelry and two with the metal detector so I'm going to open up the antique alcohol Mamzar map for you right now let's take a look and see where they are today Okay, the alcohol should be over here in Window Rock area. There's a building over here. Uh, inside there should be one of the al antique alcohols. And then over here in Lymphony, there should be one inside the uh, old jailhouse. And then over here in the Blue Water Marsh area, there should be one inside this little house over here. So we'll get three antique alcohol today and then that daily be completed okay let's take a look and see where some lost jewelry are today by using Madame Nazar's map okay we had three over here by Valentine which is great because we're doing a lot of dailies over here by Valentine today so here's one location for you 
then over here at the uh, little broken down building I think it's inside the chimney so make sure you search that chimney I might, might be wrong but it could be there and then over here across the Dakota River here just north of Cumberland Falls so there's three I'll show you today um, try that and then two of them might be ones with metal detectors so um, hopefully you get all three of that done today if you can't get um, any metal detector ones just ride around on your horse with your metal detector out and you'll mostly likely ride into a couple of collectibles there um, or you can use a coin arrowhead or fossil map and you'll get that daily completed so that should be all three dailies for the collector roll and good luck hunting guys Four to three Moonshiner dailies today. We have make $200 or more from your sale of Moonshine. So just go talk to Marcel there inside on the bottom floor of Moonshine Sack. And any three star um, Moonshine usually has $247.50. Uh, if you just drive carefully, you should be easily be able to make that $200 today. And then one of them is to change your decor. So just go inside and talk to Maggie and change any wall hanging or just go ahead and change in decor such as uh, going to the flower or hunting or basic decor just change back and forth between the decors there and then that day will be completed and then the last one is drunken player interaction so there's two different ways to do it I think the easiest way is just to go and use the door glitch which is coming over to your door here in your moonshine shack triangle span that circle button and then you'll see uh, the player interaction then go ahead and leave and then come back in uh, go inside again with the triangle button span that circle button and then your two player interactions should be completed I don't know why that works but I'll keep doing that one for a while the other way to do it is to invite people to your moonshine shack make sure everybody's offensive uh, drink until you get drunk and then interact with them by either hugging or slapping them and then you usually have to leave the shack and come back and try it again so good luck there I'm gonna go over here and change my decor with Maggie okay so what are we talking about here Go to bar decor, you can change any of the uh, thing to my favorite floral one, for instance, or you can change any wall hanging, and then that daily will be completed once you back out. There you go. So, good luck on your moonshine dailies today. So, for the three naturalist dailies today we have collect five samples in 10 minutes and collect three forest river animal samples uh, we can combine both of those easily today let's show you which which ones are the river forest animals here so we have things like bears and beavers and raccoons and foxes we have moose and possums and skunks and rabbits so just take any three samples from those animals today uh, make sure you take two more within 10 minute time frame and then both of those days will be completed the other daily is to drink two or craft two blending tonics you can get those from Harriet or you can craft them yourself um, or, or you can just, if you already have them in your bags, just use them. Make sure that uh, you know that there's a cooldown on those. Um, they help you hide from animals out there in the wild when you're trying to take samples. So do all three of those today, and then the, your naturalist dailies will be completed. For the once in 10 minutes, uh, I also like to use the, the ranches. Yeah. Take them from the farm them animals because there's... Uh, bunch of them in there and they, they're in the pens and they can't get away so I can just go over here to Emerald Ranch and take them off of any sheep or uh, cows or goats and then once you get those samples taken get five of them that day will be completed
And right over here in the Heartlands, there's in the evening time, there's a lot of raccoons and possums and foxes, so that should be hard. And then uh, there'll also be tons of rabbits running around here in the grasslands, so. Let's see if we can find one here before we close out. And there you go guys, that's three forest invert animal samples taken. Good luck. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope it was of some benefit to you. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button. It really helps the channel out a lot. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please hit that notification bell for future Red Dead Online adventures. Um, hope you have a great day out there. Stay safe. Take care, and we'll see you tomorrow.